Uh, more than 2,500 high street stores shut nationwide in just the first six months of this year, and more seem to have a grim future. But now a UK-based company appear here. Seems to be reversing the trend by last year helping to open 4,000 new ones. Dubbed the Airbnb for retail space, the company allows landlords to list their property online for rent charge on a daily use basis. It's attracted funding from some of Europe's top venture capital firms. So its founder and chief executive, Ross Bailey, joins you now. Ross, very good evening to you. What's the mood like among the landlords right now? Pretty uh, suicidal, I imagine. I think that you know the whole industry has changed. And I think there are huge structural shifts going on. I think landlords are, are finally realizing and waking up to this not being just economic, that this is actually consumers are changing, the way people are renting space, the brands are changing. And that means that real estate has got to fundamentally shift the way it operates. So presumably they're quite happy doing a deal with you because I mean the alternative might be having a void period where there's no one in their stalls at, I think at all. Completely, there's, there's too many empty spaces. Landlords see this as a way of filling those empty spaces. But more than that, it's about giving access to hundreds of thousands of brands. And you know, everyone's talking right now about the death and the demise of the high street. But on the pier here, we've got around 180,000 brands, retailers and entrepreneurs looking for space. What, are any of these really big guns of the high street established names or are these all sort of new, creative, innovative uh, retailers? Completely varies. We've got everyone from, we've launched shops in the last 12 months for Chanel, for celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow and Kanye West to technology businesses like Netflix and Spotify. And then we've launched something like four and a half thousand stores. So you mentioned that 1,500 stores had closed. Four and a half thousand stores have launched through appear here with small independents, from amazing florists to cool record stores to market stores across the country. But are there enough of these operators out there to uh, fill these empty spaces? I mean, at the moment, you've got the likes of Debenhams, Marks & Spencer, House of Fraser, all closing stores. I mean, there's going to be more space becoming available, isn't there? But Ian, I think if me or you walk down the high street today and you walk into a lot of the big sort of department stores you mentioned. I think right now it's not just that there's these huge shifts going on in the market, but it's that these retailers aren't providing to the customer what's really wanted. Mm, but that's a problem. I mean, a lot of the people that you're dealing with, as you say, there's some very innovative, exciting names there, but a lot of these are particularly catering for a special demographic, aren't they? I mean, this isn't necessarily going to boost footfall at some flagging shopping centre in a provincial town, is it? I disagree, because I think that actually you're, you're seeing, yes, these cool, exciting, innovative projects, but you're also seeing people getting access to real estate that never had access before. So previously you had to sign a five to a ten year lease. You've got these huge lease obligations. That means there's a very few amount of people that can actually ever look at taking a retail space. It was big traditional companies. Now, by letting people rent these spaces flexibly, suddenly you're giving access to thousands of people, like I said, 180,000 on the platform, that want to bring their ideas to life. So you're democratizing real estate. I noticed from looking at your site this afternoon, you've got uh, some space in uh, some top shop concessions. Have, has demand there been hit by the latest scandal involving Sir Philip Green? Look, I think that Topshop in Oxford Street, I think this year will do about 180 million in sales from that one store. Wow. Um, recently, I had a guy who was a market store trader and he had a shop in uh, Spitterfields and he made about a thousand pounds in a week selling this little jewelry that he's created. He's now in Topshop and he's been making 20 to 30,000 a week. Goodness. So that just shows you that a small entrepreneur getting access to amazing locations, even places like Topshop currently, can be phenomenally successful. And our job at Appear here is how do we take amazing places and give people, anyone, access as long as they've got an incredible idea. Now, the moment you've got sites in the UK, in Paris and in New York, where next? Um, so yeah, London, Paris, New York, we want this to be in every major retail city. That's our big focus. And I'm super excited right now by the West Coast in LA. And you've got a fairly glitzy lineup of investors behind you, a lot of big names from the private equity world. And uh, Natalie Massa Massane is a, a shareholder as well. How did she get involved? I, I was with her this morning, actually. She, um, I think, look, Natalie looks at this in the same way as I think what she did with Netta Porter, which was, would someone buy a Chanel handbag online, right? And she proved that people would, and then she built an incredible brand focused on service, obsessing over the customer user journey. And I think for us that appear here, we were like, would someone even rent a shop online? And not only are they doing that, but you're seeing so many people want to do this. And what we're now doing is going, how do we add incredible service, an incredible user journey, create a great brand, 
and change the way real estate's operated, which today hasn't been obsessed over service and hasn't been obsessed over giving anyone access. Very briefly, do you worry about the likes of JLL or any of the other big sort of property companies coming in and doing something similar? I think that you know what we're focused on is how we build this incredible technology and we've got an amazing data science team that we've hired from the west coast we're getting incredible information and i think that helps us to continue to move faster than anyone else in the market all right ross bailey from appear here good to see you yes, thanks, thanks for joining me